Scorpio, don't be surprised if you have some big emotions coming up, especially if there's some sort of major change in your personal life. Really looking at the astrology, it seems like there could be a big move or otherwise a change with your home or family. It's really a great time for you to reconnect with your heart and the people and things that matter most to you. And on a similar vein, I also see that many of you are taking your passions more seriously. That could be taking the form of a creative project or outlet or even in your love life. If you're excited for this month's reading, then definitely be sure to hit like, subscribe, and the bell notification so you can always stay up to date with what's in the cards for you. For those of you who are brand new to this channel, my name is Michael, and I utilize tarot and tropical astrology to intuit monthly forecasts for your zodiac sign. For those of you who are ready for a deep dive, you can book a personal reading or distance Reiki session with me using the link in the description of this video. You can also find links for all of my official social media accounts. I'm only able to put out these videos with all of your continued love and support, so thank you so much for supporting this channel, and I am so excited to see what we have in store for you this February. We actually had two cards come out for you first here, Scorpio, just looking at the past influence. We have Temperance with the Eight of Cups in reverse, and this is actually quite interesting to me. Because when I first saw the Eight of Cups, it felt like some of you have been trying to distance yourself from a situation or a relationship, and this feels like this has been a very long-term process. It doesn't even feel like this is just something that's been going on since January. It feels like a lot of you have been reeling or recovering um, maybe from the end of a relationship or just trying to leave behind a really challenging period in your life. And it feels like there's been sort of this isolation that's gone on for you too. With it being in reverse, however, and really looking at temperance, I feel like maybe in January you were revisiting something. There was something that was coming to mind that was about you healing the past and finding resolve in unresolved issues. And that's kind of something that was just sort of a focus for you. And this actually makes sense. We had Pluto, which is technically one of your ruling planets, although many people look to Mars to really get kind of a more day-to-day -day life influence because Pluto takes 20 years to move through a sign, give or take, and it's actually gonna be in Aquarius for the next 20 years. So this is a really big shift for everybody, but I think on some level you're feeling this very deeply, and there's kind of this call to return to something and to really heal on a deeper level. So I'm very curious to hear about that. Definitely let me know in the comments down below if you feel like there was some sort of call to healing in January. And if that's making sense, then this reading is probably for you. Um, do keep in mind that these are general messages. So not everything in this video is meant for you specifically. It's up to your own intuition and discernment to figure out what applies to your own life and what should be left behind for somebody else. If this doesn't resonate at all, it's totally fine. Nothing went wrong. It simply means that this video isn't meant for you at this time, but you're more than welcome to check out another video, maybe for your moon or rising sign. I have the playlist on my channel. Um, I also really recommend looking at your rising sign as the astrology really tends to be most accurate there, but you can definitely find resonance with any placement. And ultimately it's just important to trust your intuition. Um, really trust that you're here for a reason. We have several cards that just came out for you. Um, wow. Interesting. I feel like, <sighs> a lot of you have been disconnected from people in general with the three of cups in reverse. Um, maybe there were friendships that ended or really important relationships that ended. And it doesn't feel like it was just one, to be completely honest. And it feels like you've kind of been fending for yourself a little bit with the five of pentacles. Maybe there's even like family members that you have been distant from or potentially even siblings more specifically. And that's something that's kind of coming up for you right now too. Although it's interesting because we have the sun and the star coming in very central to you for this February. And this is a very beautiful, bright and healing energy. The star often indicates finding hope. And 
getting a sense of direction, especially if you felt sort of lost or like you've just kind of been going through the trenches and dredging through everything. And there's something that is really revitalizing you, which is quite interesting. And I think with Pluto now in the sign of Aquarius, there is something that is transforming. There is something in your foundations that is shifting, and that's actually going to bring about a whole new era over the next 20 years. We do have Mercury coming into contact or making conjunction with Pluto on the 5th, and so this could indicate some important healing conversation or some sort of insight or revelation. I really get that with the sun and the star. There is some sort of like making sense of things. And it feels like something is being revealed, and in that revelation, healing is becoming possible. We do also have Mars and Venus coming together with Pluto between the 14th and the 17th, and it's kind of making for a very dramatic Valentine's Day, but it's also um, a lot of you taking action. It's very relational. There's a lot of focus, I think, on who you want to spend your life with and how you want your personal life to look. And I feel like there's a lot that's just becoming clear here, um, which is really, really interesting. And we have the Magician with the Empress. I feel like some of you have really opened yourself up to a relationship, at least those of you who have been single. Um, for others of you, you're starting to manifest from a place of worth. You're remembering your worth. You're healing something with self-worth or your confidence. And I really do get the sense that, like, especially Gemini to Taurus season. So that is, um, I'm sorry, Taurus to Gemini season. The end of May to the end of June um, feels very important to me. It feels like there could be some important plan or something that is coming into the horizon around this time. Um, maybe you are planning some sort of move or the next step in your life. And it's really interesting because there's a lot of major arcana here. We have the sun, the star, the empress, the, and temperance. Um, it feels like this is a very spiritual energy for you. We also have the Four of Cups in reverse, so it feels like there are answers that have kind of escaped you or eluded you that are finally coming into focus. Um, and it's kind of getting out of this sort of maybe disillusioned energy. I feel like some of you had a really hard ending or just like a major disappointment, and it felt like the way you viewed relationships had to change. But now there's more of an openness. There's more of a reciprocity. Or not reciprocity, um, receptivity. Although maybe you are ready for relationships that are more reciprocal. Two of Pentacles. You are making some big changes. Again, I really think there could be a move for some of you. Um, making changes in your day-to-day -day life. This could sometimes indicate a change with career as well, but I, I think with the astrology, it feels more like there's a change that is more personal than that. And I, I think there is a transformation, really looking at this butterfly as well. Interesting. We have chariot. I feel like there is a big plan. I, again, we have Taurus, Gemini, and now Cancer. It feels like that period of time, kind of the end of spring, beginning of summer, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, um, there is like a major shift that is taking place. And it's like, you know that this is coming. You see the next steps. There is something you are seeing very clearly. And sometimes when I look at the Eight of Cups, it's a really interesting card because it's like, when you're kind of in the valley, you don't know what is in the horizon. You have to climb this mountain first. And it's kind of this arduous journey. It's, it's a lot of deep work. And it's very emotional. And it's kind of like leaving a, a sort of broken situation behind. You know you can't stay where you are, Scorpio. And you've kind of been struggling with like, well, where do I go? What is next for me? And it feels like you're kind of getting to this point where you're reaching the top of the mountain and you're gaining some sort of perspective in the month of February. 
And I think a really important time for this where there's kind of a, a lot of clarity, um, we do have we do have a, a conjunction with the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn, actually, all in the sign of Pisces. And for you, this could really be indicating taking something that you care about more seriously, um, maybe especially something creative or just something that you're passionate about. Maybe there is a new relationship for some of you as well that's kind of going to the next level, and you're not settling for energy that you used to tolerate or, or behavior that you used to tolerate. I feel like a lot of you had a hard time letting go of someone. And you really tried. You really did. Like, I, I'm getting the impression that there are people in your life or there was a significant other where it's like, you may have blocked this person or unfriended them or just you, you cut them out in some way. But it's been really hard to move forward. And it feels like there's now something new in the horizon. What is this new thing? What is this newness? Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Yeah, I feel like you really are building your home. The home of your dreams, which includes the family. Whatever that means for you. Because that's going to mean something different for everybody. You really want to look at the long term in your life. You really want to find stability. And I feel like some of you had a sense of stability maybe in relationships, or you tried to derive that in relationships. And when I really look at this Ten of Pentacles, we see the Nine Pentacles, and the Tenth is actually in the center pentacle here, if you can see that. And what this really tells me is that true stability first comes from within. You have to have a secure internal foundation. Otherwise, you could just hoard and collect and accumulate and you'll never feel like you have enough. We definitely can see some examples of that in our modern life right now. I, I think there's a lot of people who come to mind with that. But I really feel like you are finding a lot of stability. And it's been like... It's come from a lot of lessons and maybe like karmic relationships. I do feel like some of you are also leaving a community behind as well. Interesting. I'm actually hearing that some of you might have had like a crisis of faith or you could have left behind a religious community or spiritual community. That's actually something that's coming in as well. Um, which is quite interesting. Obviously, that is not going to apply for all of you, but it just came in very clearly to me. Um, some of you are leaving a really important community that felt like, oh, I found my family, and then maybe you didn't, and you are now looking elsewhere, or you're starting to find it elsewhere, because I feel like you're really manifesting and building on a new foundation for your life, and it feels like there is something that is shifting, something that is moving. Some of you may actually be moving back to a place that you lived, or maybe your hometown, or something like that, but it feels like there is this sense of renewal that comes from it. It's not like going backwards, okay? I want you to know that. It feels like that is the next step forward, is to come back to something in some way, whether that is by literally or physically moving, or in an emotional or psychological way, reconnecting with the past and integrating things from the past. Um, we also have the Hermit. So yeah, there's a lot of internal work. There's a lot of going within, but I feel like you're finally getting this guidance. You're finally seeing things. And it's not just about isolating or withdrawing because I feel like, honestly, a lot of you have been in that energy. I, I feel I feel kind of bad, honestly. I, I'm sorry if this is resonating because it feels like you've really been kind of lonely. Um, and, and you kind of had to take a step back from people. And it's taken some time to really gain this clarity, and I'm actually really happy to see this for you. Um, 
sometimes I actually do call the Eight of Cups the journey to find the hermit at the top of the mountain. So it's interesting how this is kind of the first card I pulled for you, and this is kind of in the future. Um, so there is this completion or this full uh, kind of reaching your destination in this journey, and you are gaining clarity, you are gaining some sort of vantage point. I do really want to pull some Moonology cards for you because I feel like this has been sort of an abstract and very psychological reading. So I'm, I'm hoping or curious to see if we can get a little more specific here with some Oracle cards. What is going on for Scorpio? Show us clearly, please. What are the messages for Scorpio? Interesting. Full moon in Aquarius, show the world the real you. But also the full moon in Aquarius can sometimes indicate endings in social groups or friendships. Again, it feels like there's a lot of relationships you're walking away from, and it doesn't feel like it's just one. <sighs> and I feel like you had to do this in order to be authentic. I'm actually getting a really specific message for some of you as well. Like over the course of your lives, you've really tried to find your people. You've tried to find like-minded people, but it feels like every time you, you have those relationships, something ends up happening. They kind of fall through. And there's something about you embracing your weirdness and kind of going back to your home, going back to your roots and being that kind of maybe quirky or different person, that just feels like it's a theme for you. Um, I I'm really curious if that's resonating. Again, it's not going to be for everybody, but that's also a really specific thing that I just got with the full moon in Aquarius. What else do we have for Scorpio? We do have a full moon in Aries, a fiery climax approaches. So there are some endings here because full moons typically indicate endings or a peak in a cycle or energy. And it feels like there is a lot of passion that is coming. And a lot of this is just about being yourself and being very authentic because both Aries and Aquarius really are about authenticity. Interesting. What else do we have for Scorpio? Any other messages for Scorpio? We have a balsamic moon, a time for healing. We also have a first quarter moon. Your commitment is being tested. Very interesting. I feel like your commitment to your healing is being tested. Because I think a lot of the time when people talk about healing, it's very easy to be rosy and, and kind of flowery with this, but it's actually really intense work. And I feel like some of you are coming into some really big emotions and you're kind of like processing something from the past that maybe you just couldn't even process for a long time. And it's now coming up and it feels like a lot. But in this resolution or in this processing or integration, there's a lot of beautiful manifestations that are finally coming in. There's this sort of flow that follows. Um, and I, I think there's a really deep healing that is happening for you. <clears throat> is there anything else? I'm going to pull an animal card for you as well, Scorpio. That's too many. Let's try again. And I really like to think of these energies as, or these cards as energies to embody. We keep getting a lot here, so it's kind of interesting. Show me clearly. What is the energy for Scorpio to embody in the month of February? My head is absolutely spinning right now interesting how we have this spinning and kind of that weaving of the cobra okay this is a very spiritual energy and it feels like again i'm getting a really specific energy i feel like some of you were involved in some sort of spiritual group honestly it's kind of feeling a little culty um and maybe it was another kind of group or something too um 
And it feels like that kind of is appropriate with the full moon in Virgo that we have on the 24th. That could be some sort of change to your social groups or a, a full disconnect. But with the Cobra, it's like you've had to become the teacher. You've had to become the person you've been looking for. This is so interesting, to be honest. I, I feel like a lot of this is just kind of coming through me. It's not even so much tied to the astrology. I'm really just feeling the energy, and I know I keep huffing, and I'm sorry if that's annoying, but it's like, wow, I, I feel like I just need to breathe through this. And a lot of the time with Cobra, it's like, yes, there is the shedding, but there's also kind of that stillness. There's that waiting for the time to act or strike. Wow. Meditation is really, really important for you. I'm just going to say that now, Scorpio. <clears throat> what else do we have? I mean, we did have the South Node in your sign for a lot of 2023 and even 2022. And a lot of that was about you kind of shedding old versions of yourself and now with the south node, which is where the eclipses occur, we have the north and south node. It is now in the sign of Libra. And for you, that's really about leaving behind maybe spiritual beliefs um, or something very subconscious. There's a lot of old patterns that you are shedding and you really are going through a spiritual awakening and it's been hard, and you're like, when is it going to stop? When am I going to find stability? There is stability coming. I really want you to believe in that, Scorpio. It's been something that's been in the works for a while. It's like the home you've always been looking for, the home you've been looking for your whole life is coming. You are finding it. And you really had to go through a lot. And maybe some of you have even arrived there and there's just kind of this processing now um, because all of you are going to be in different phases in this journey and in this process. Some of you have found the home, the partner, the, the place you want to be. And it's like now that you are safe and secure, there's more coming in. And we also have the buffalo as well. Very solid, steady energy. And it's like, I see that lightning bolt in the background and this buffalo is just looking forward. There's something about being very devoted, very spiritual, and also connecting with like-minded people or connecting with your flock and not being afraid to be a little bit like a black sheep. I'm getting kind of black sheep energy from the crow. Because these are the people who are really going to gain the most from you and your perspective and wisdom. This is a very interesting reading. Um, I, I just feel like you've had a, a reckoning, Scorpio. It's been rough. And honestly, some of you are still kind of in the middle of this. But I feel like a lot of you are starting to see signs. You're starting to move in the direction of stability. And a few of you already are in that stable place. And again, it's like when you're finally stable, it's called a delayed stress response. When you kind of experience all of this flooding after kind of just being in survival mode or, or go mode. Is there any other message? I feel like there's got to be something. I know we're getting close to time. Ooh, I'm going to cut it close. Okay. I'm going to pull from the Starseed Oracle because I feel like there's just one more card here. What is the message for Scorpio? Trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you have had, life hasn't gone the way you thought it would. You know, you, you aren't where you thought you would be five years ago. I think a lot of people can feel that way right now. Um, but it's also important to trust that you haven't missed your opportunity. You haven't missed what is calling you on the deepest level. 
You have not missed what is meant for you. Ooh, yeah, you have not missed what is meant for you. And you're not for everyone. Uh, embrace your weirdness, face your true north. I mean, we already kind of talked about that. So I think just embracing your uniqueness. And it's interesting because it's like, I really think there's just this theme for you, Scorpio, where it's like, over your life, the relationships that you thought were meant to be and were thought you thought were going to be like, long lasting ended up leaving and the ones that you didn't really see being significant have become more significant and for some reason that's just something that's coming in and it's like it's because you're embracing your uniqueness even if you're very different from the people around you it's very twisty turny here um definitely let me know in the comments how this resonates and if this was helpful, if this does resonate with you, definitely hit like and subscribe. Uh, we are right at the end of the time, so I'm going to close it out here. You can find all of my links in the description of this video for personal readings and distance Reiki sessions if you'd like to take a deep dive with me. You can also find the other videos for your moon or rising sign or any other placement on the playlist on my channel. And I will see you all next time. I'm sending you lots of beautiful energy and wishing you a very blessed February.